Hey y'all, what's going on? It's about 5.30 and day six is done. So like, what? What day six? Well, today was a bonus day that Tony gave us and and I'm so glad that I made the choice to sign up for UPW Virtual. I am so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of stepping out of my comfort zone and even though I'm going to be pooping bricks for the next few weeks. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm um, being nervous. I'm trying to re remind myself what I used to say in, in a, a Christian retreat that I went to once upon a time is don't anticipate, just participate. So I guess this is time for me to let you go and I'll come back later. Bye y'all. Hello. Hey y'all, what's going on? It's about 2 o'clock um, on the 27th of January and um, this is not a Tony Robbins day, but I have to wrap up day six, which I haven't done yet. So this is about yesterday. Um, I was really, I've been really tired because I've been, for the last year, I've been sitting on my butt doing nothing. Literally, literally. Of course, I'd get my dishes done every now and then and I'd get everything clean every now and then. But for the most part, I've just been not doing anything with my life. And, um, so when I started to get at the peak state that we need for it to be, you know, to have high energy so we can pay attention, so we can learn these things and apply them, um, like after doing this a few times, like, yeah, yeah, like after the first or second day, my body, like back in areas that I didn't even know that I had started to cramp because I was exercising those and um, I haven't exercised in a long time, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to keep that up every day, at least a few times a day. Just start with the peaks. Just go for it. Just jump up and, and just give it my all for about a minute, minute and a half. And then just go about my business for the day. Just to, just to keep that up. Because I don't want to lose momentum. So, um, there's a lot I've learned this past week, I've learned that I was looking for love in somebody else instead of myself. Um, I don't want to get too serious right now because I, I have played hard, which means I have dug deep into myself. And right now, I just, I don't want to dig deep anymore. Just for a second, just for a second, I just want to kind of let it simmer right there. I don't want to make it boil, so... Um, I really dug deep and realized in, in day five, the reason why I buy myself things and the reason why I, I eat stupid things is to, to feed a void in me. And that void in me is love, a lack of love. That void in me is rejection. That void in me is um, all these other things that I can't even think of. <clears throat> I'm not sick, I just really need to put my humidifier on. So this morning I was taking a shower and I was just talking to myself about all these things. And I used to think that failure was a negative thing. In my mind, failure was a negative thing. That if you failed at something, that you were a failure forever. I would beat myself down and berate myself and call myself names. And I even did this last week. I call myself, you know, fat whale and all this other stuff because I'm already hurting. But but when I feel like I've done something stupid, or I've done something that that I don't like, I I hurt myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've done that in the past too. So I'm talking to myself this morning, you know, during the shower, after the shower, getting dressed. And I've realized that I've seen failure as a negative thing in this life. And most people would be sitting there saying, yeah, failure is a negative thing. But when you think about it and you put those negative connotations on it, you're, you're putting yourself down. In order to succeed in life, you've, caught, you've had to fail a few times. 
in order to, to lose the 10 pounds you want to do, you've had to fail at it a couple times. You know, in order to get the new job that you wanted, you've had to get declined a few times, you know? Um, same thing with, with every facet in life. You've, you've had to try it, and obviously every time it's not just going to work like that. You've got to push yourself, and you've got to you've got to try to manage to see what things that you need to fix. And when when I used to fail, I used to say, "What's wrong with me?" That used to be the the, the thing that I would say first. What's wrong with me? And it might not be anything to do with emotional, mental, um, spiritual, or even physical, but just the fact that you've got to change yourself. You've got to as Tony said, retool yourself, um, re reinvent yourself to to be the person that that you want to be for that job, for that spouse, for that whoever. Um, so yeah, that failure is not a negative thing. It is just something that has to happen before you succeed. Before you succeed, there's failure. And I just... This morning I was thinking about that and all my life I have allowed myself to be disabled. Physically disabled, yes, I am. I can't change that. But I can allow who who um who looks at me a certain way, who thinks of me a certain way, especially family members. Um when I was younger you know, I was disabled and I saw it in their eyes. And I don't know if I did this or if they did this or that, not that I'm trying to label or blame, but because I saw other people looking at me a different way, I then became disabled. I disabled myself in, in my mind. I'm not disabled in my mind. I'm just disabled in my body. There's a difference. But I would play up to what they thought that I was disabled with. So if they thought that I was stupid, I was going to play stupid. If they thought that I couldn't do sports, I wouldn't do sports. If they thought that I couldn't do this, they meaning family, friends, teachers, counselors, whoever, um, or myself, or even myself, or even stuff that I, you know, that I said, I'm no good, I'm disabled, what can I do? I can't do this, I can't do that. All my life, I'm realizing, is has been one negative ball of fury, just just negative, and me feeling worthless, and me feeling powerless, and me feeling weak, and that's why when I loved to walk by myself a couple years ago, I was walking by myself for for energy, for fitness, for for weight loss. Um, because I felt when I was by myself, and now I'm realizing this as I say it out loud, I like to be by myself. And not have a lot of people in my life because when I'm by myself, I can be anybody that I want to be. Not who people think that I am, but who I really am. Wow. I've got to say that again. When I was by myself, I allowed myself to be me. Not who people thought that I was, but my natural me. That is a breakthrough right there. So in life, I have exited people out of my life. I have said goodbye to a lot of people who didn't believe in me. I know that I can't be alone forever. And I think now, even then I've been even though I've been single for a long time for ten years, um, I had something short last year, but it didn't last, so I'm not gonna count that. Um, I've still not figured me out. Wow. And even though I like me, and some days I love me, I've not really learned to appreciate myself. This is going deep today, guys. I've not learned to love me 
to really love me. Maybe I have never loved myself. Maybe I have for a short while. But I think the attack two years ago definitely hindered a lot of that. I blame myself for a lot of it. Even though I had nothing to do with it. I blame myself for a lot of it. So I think that it's the Lord has been trying to wake me up for me to truly step into the person. And I'm not just saying this for drama. I'm not saying this for fluff because it sounds good. For me to truly step into the person and who he has designed me to be. Truly step into who is Karen? What is Karen like? What does Karen want? What does Karen need? What is Karen good at? What are Karen's hobbies? What are her passions? And I don't ever talk about myself in the third person because I think it's, it's kind of gross, but um, who am I? Who, who, who am I really? I'm not the old me that I've been telling myself for 44 years. And as much as I have worked with the Lord for years and years and years, I've still not loved myself. I've still not enjoyed myself. How do you enjoy yourself, you ask, maybe? Whatever I'm doing at the time, am I, am I enjoying myself or am I just living out for the moment just because I want the moment to pass? I used to wake up and say, oh God, 14 hours before I can go to sleep, 15 hours before I can go to sleep. What am I, what am I going to do today? <laughs> and then a lot of opposition came and I didn't complain about being bored anymore. No. <laughs> I had opposition, spiritual warfare for a long time. And after that, I did not complain about being bored anymore. Did not. Um. <laughs> so, I think that I'm going to learn how to enjoy me is to date me. <laughs> I'm going to take myself out on dates. And try to do some challenges while I do that. And maybe do some vlogs, you know, post a live, like a couple minute live, like, hey y'all, I'm treating myself at Red Lobster, or Panera, or whatever. And who, who gives a darn if somebody sees me, you know? I've lived my life way too long on what people think of me. And that has been a major burden. That has been a major hindrance from me living my life organically and naturally of who I am you know I'm gonna put on a movie and and enjoy myself enjoy myself laughing you know I love comedies and I love comedies because it breaks up the monotony of the mind and um yeah I just I need to start enjoying myself Instead of putting myself down all the time, I'm going to have to start, I'm going to start, not have to, I'm going to start um, building myself back up. So that way I th thoroughly know who I am before I go into any other relationship. Because if you go into a relationship without knowing who you are, you change to be the person that they want you to be. God's given me a lot of insight. Tony's given me a lot of insight. And um, I'm really excited on, on getting to know me. Like, I know what I like. I know the foods I like. Coming to America flashed through my mind right now. Whatever you like. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, it's 
that, that's a classic. Um, and to tell myself that if I don't get everything done the day, you know, if I, I give myself challenges that day and if I don't get every single thing done, I'm not a failure. I'm not a failure. I'm going to have to repeat to myself, I'm not a failure. I'm a succeeder. That's a word. That I'm going to choose to succeed every day. But I'm not going to also give myself unrealistic goals, but I'm not going to give myself small little goals that, you know, a five-year-old could hit either, you know. I'm excited. I'm really excited. And I cannot wait for, I was going to say my date with destiny. No, that's the wrong one. UPW. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Finally, I'm doing something for me. I'm doing something good for me. I'm doing something great for me. I do something for me every day. I play The Sims. I watch movies. I clean my house. I eat what I want. Um, and that is for me, but it's not good for me. I'm doing something really good for me. Finally taking a chance on myself. If I don't take a chance on me, who's going to? And so, $345 is a lot for me for that ticket. But what, what was I going to do with it? Waste it? Yeah. This is not just me to have but it's for me to I'm worth that $345 and I'm worth that $345 more than just paying on a bill more than just getting stuff um what I love more stuff in life yeah but I don't need it I mean I'd love a brand new couch I mean I'd really love that I've had one for 16 years now the same one but when you get to a place of desperation which is what I feel like I was before this five days, six days. When you get to a place of desperation that you'll do anything to just change you, to just change your circumstances, change how you think, change how you feel, change what you believe, you'll do anything to change yourself. But you've got to hit, you don't, I don't think you have to hit bottom first, but you've got to realize that there is a change that needs to happen within yourself and for yourself. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. No distractions. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. I am worthy of this change. I am worthy to treat myself well. I am worthy to love myself. I am worthy. And all those old, old feelings and all those old nasty words and, and just records that I used to play and play and play and play and play over and over and over again and the as as a christian i can say that the enemy doesn't help that because he loves to implant those old those old records those old memories those old failures to keep you down to keep you from being a successor in the kingdom of god as well the enemy loves to play those old records loves to get you down loves to to make you feel stupid and to make you feel sorry for the things you've done in life. I, I choose my life. I'm the creator of my own life. I'm not just the manager, but I am the creator of my own life. I do have a heavenly creator and I seek him with all diligence, but I am the, the creator of my life. I'm going to stop listening to, to other people on how I should feel, on how I should live, on how I should be, on how I should go forward and continue and succeed. I've got to listen to me because I don't want to be 
led by a blinded person. I don't want to be led by somebody else that does not know what they're doing with their life. And as much as I can take um, opinions, if those opinions don't line up with where I'm going, I don't have to believe them. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you for your input. But I, just because you have something to say doesn't mean that that I'm going to just automatically believe it. I'm not going to believe things from people that don't hold water in my life. I'm not going to believe things from people who don't have their own lives. At least not together, but set on the right, set on the track to going forward. So, amen. <laughs> I'm believing in myself again. I'm believing in me again. Yes. Yes. So I love y'all. I've got to get my butt up. I've got to do my dishes. I got to cook me some lunch today. I've got to just clean my house. I got to put my clothes away. I've got lots to do. So I need to get my butt up. Love you lots. And hopefully this is inspiring you to choose your own destiny, to choose your own new you. New you. Love y'all.